A great scenographer and artist of a fertile imagination, Maestro Luzzatti, said of Apricala's charm, I could have drawn it. A young visitor driving up from Isola Bona says that the village appears to him as a magical place, the perfect setting for a medieval epic poem. Looking at it from above, Apricale may seem to you like a lizard lying on a hill, but it is when you enter its ancient caruggi, that mean alleyways, that you really taste the genuine sense of the Middle Ages. And in fact, our young visitor goes on saying that he was almost in ecstasy as he walked through the alleyways of the village. You should know that life in this village was for almost a thousand years regulated by laws called statutes. The statutes regulated every single daily action and reading them you have the impression of literally seeing the ancient inhabitants come to life and run to take the sheep out to pasture, go down to the vegetable gardens with their tools and discuss the latest events with their neighbors. The ancient statutes also regulated crimes or thefts providing for sometimes cruel punishments. Here our guide is in front of the executioner's house to explain how murderers were once punished. The sentence for these crimes was to bury the murderer alive together with the victim. The murderers had no defense, lawyers, but could resort to the so-called judgment of God. They had to take a red-hot iron in their hands, walk at least ten meters, and, in the end, if their hands were not burned, they would be free. There are no known cases of divine intervention, and all murderers ended up buried alive. Young people love this village very much, and even those who were once gone are returning to live here. Simone explains that he has opened a restaurant, but there are many other young people who have returned to cultivate the countryside and the olive tree in particular. Others have opened a natural cosmetics workshop, giving new life to this wonderful village. Much of what we are telling you can be found in the Lizard Castle. In the castle, we found these girls who once again explained to us how this village seemed fairy tale to them. You will find a little piece of history among the fairy tales at the Lizard Castle. It is the story of Cristina Bellomo, known as Emma, a commoner born in Apricale, and who thanks also to her beauty, managed to be called Countess. Emma travelled throughout Europe during the Belle Epoque period and even became a spy in the service of the Tsar. Don't leave Apricale without tasting the dishes of the local cuisine and in particular the excellent panzarole with zabaglione. And then, with a full belly, Go back and look at that strange bicycle climbing the roof of the bell tower. Here is how Sylvain explains it in almost philosophical words. In Apricale you are always obliged to go uphill, just as in life you are always obliged to climb. Today the bicycle has reached the top of the bell tower, but tomorrow it could go even higher. So we must do as the bicycle does, we must never stop. <laughs>